Okay, so we're going to try to understand um, when you drop drop an object, uh, we're converting gravitational energy to kinetic energy. Uh, we're ignoring the, th ignoring the thermal energy. So um, uh, we're we're trying to see that if we knew if we knew the um, the, ma the the height that something was dropped by, and we knew the mass, what would be the final velocity? We've just done that for an example where the mass was three kilograms and it dropped from two meters. So we've we find out that the the gravitational energy was fifty eight point eight joules, and we would then assume that that would be also the kinetic energy that it would get just before it hit the ground. You then rearrange the equation to find that the velocity is equal to six point two six meters per second. But then when we did it with a different mass, we found it was also 6.26 meters per second. So it seemed that it doesn't matter what the um, the mass is, if I drop an object from two meters, as long as we're talking about the planet Earth where the gravity is 9.8, then it's still gonna always hit the ground at 6.26 meters, meters per second. So let's just um, try to work it out in terms of algebra. We're, we're converting kinetic energy, sorry, gravitational energy into, into um, kinetic energy and when we use algebra, it starts to make a lot more sense because gravitational energy at the beginning is going to be equal to the kinetic energy at the end. And now we can see the masses cancel out. So when we rearrange that, we have 2gh on the left is equal to velocity squared. And if I flip them around, the velocity is going to be always equal to the square root of two times the gravitational field strength multiplied by the height. So you could, if you wanted to, you could just remember this formula for this situation. And many people do if they're trying to calculate this kind of question again and again and again. What is the final velocity of something falling? Um, it's all, as long as you ignore air resistance, it's always just equal to this formula here. Um, and then you just see what is the height it's been dropped from and what is the strength of gravity on the planet that we're dropping the object.